about in Australia, but you don't care about me. You care about these incredibly talented people we have back here. So we'll tell her to get them out. First off, uh, we, she has been on shows like Strawberry Shortcake and Dragon Tales, but more importantly, she plays everyone's favorite party party, Pinkie Pie. She plays Fluttershy. And she was, with the most important role, she played Pumpkin. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrea Lippe! Well, she is in the band called Hey Ocean. We all know Hey Ocean, right? Very talented. She's been on Johnny Cash, Dinosaur Train, and Strawberry Shortcake. But of course, we know her as the original Apple Dasher, Applejack and Rainbow Dash, Ashley Ball. Lagoon, Inuyasha, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, and Dragon Ball Z, Kid vs. Cat, but most importantly, she plays everyone's favorite number one assistant. She plays Spike. Ladies and gentlemen, Kathy Westmore! She plays Zoe Trent on Lilith's Pet Shop. Yeah, we got, we got some petsters out there. That's cool. All right. But most importantly, we know her as everyone's favorite teacher, Cheerilee, and Princess Sump. I mean, uh, Celestia. <laughs> Nicole Oliver. Next up, we have a very talented man who has been, uh, he is also on the list pet shop. He plays Butler and Sunnel, but most importantly, he plays everyone's favorite alicorn princess, Peter Noob! Up. Yesterday, I actually had a bet for how long it would take for their. Oh, oh my goodness. Thanks. So unprofessional. Control yourself, Peter. It's okay, we're all this good. This why we here. can't have nice things. Move along. Nothing wrong here. Nothing all right. happening. Yesterday, I had a bet going as to how long it would take for an over 9,000 joke. I was hoping we'd be move past it, but he came up and made it himself. <laughs> also plays Mr. Cake, Noteworthy, and Seabreeze, and everyone's favorite villain, Ali Zoto. Brian Drummond. Oh no, sorry. Sorry, I, pr I pronounced it wrong. It's Brain Drummond. Yes, right. Brain Drummond. <laughs> and last, but of course not least, she has her own convention named after her. So, Babs, best Philly, we got Brina Drummond. <laughs> Brenna. <laughs> Brenna Drummond. <laughs> I had to ask three times before I made sure I got that name pronounced right. And I'm going to bring up our, uh, because the most important, more important than any of these people, is the person hosting, moderating the panel. Come on up here, man. Did you say hua? <laughs> you can't say hua. Who is, who is the man who is moderating the panel? You just said hua. All right. Uh, it's an army thing. Hua. Yeah, there you go, something like that. Hey, hey everyone, how you doing? <laughs> I am up here at a table with people way more talented than I am. I'm gonna straight up say that. Uh, I am Apple Cider Bronyville Podcast. Um, and it's great to be back up here. It's the first time in probably about a year and a half that I'm actually be able to do one of these crazy things for you. Um, the first thing I want to do is I have such a wonderful collection of people over here that I really must use social media to the greatest capabilities that I have. So I've got 
what would you say about 500 people here? I've got some of the most talented people in the industry. So it seems like it would be a complete waste to not get an awesome selfie, so. going to be the whole panel, which is all of us taking turns making that Make, selfie. Making that face, yeah, making a crazy good. selfie. There you go. Oh, it's <laughs> Go big or go home. Uh, so, hi, everyone. How you doing today? Hope you had a good two slash three days over here at BabsCon. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so, yeah, what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and break it down a little bit. We're going to have a nice little leisurely chat with all of our friends right here. And then after that, we're going to open it up to all the great questions that our, uh, our friends over there in line have. We will not leave you waiting long. Um, but the very first thing is, you know, we have so many of you that are so multi-talented. You do so many different things, be it, you know sketch comedy, do it, be it if you are in theater, if you are in so many wonderful things. And you know what? I actually first want to, want to go over there to Nicole. Nicole, who, what friends did you bring today? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, get the mic. Mike, Mike. Hello? Oh, hi. These are my friends, Alicia and Zoe. Can you say hello? Two wave back at all your new friends. There you go. And all my other friends sitting up front. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Fantastic. Always, always good to have all the, the you know, it, it, the show has taken such a, a dramatic turn that there's so many people here that are in, you know, teens, late adults and everything. But, you know, the real focus of it and the real people that, uh, that really gain from it is the younger fans. And that's always something that it's very, very important for the fandom as a whole to make sure that they don't uh, lose sight of is that, you know, this is a show that is pretty much enabling and teaching a brand new generation of kids, you know, very important morals, so you know, always something that's great. Um, but yeah, let's uh, multifaceted. Um, how do you guys deal with the complexities of being of just your everyday lives, just between voice acting, <laughs> between music, between all these different pieces that you do? How, how do you find even the time of day between having to shift uh, shift your focus constantly? We have agents. <laughs> <laughs> and coffee? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the focus between all of those. Uh, how do we do? Well, I mean, I think all of you make it kind of easy for us to want to be here. This is really incredible. Look at all of you. Oh, my goodness me. Something, something I did find the time to do this weekend was um, go to Girardelli Square Ooh. to get this stuff for you guys for this Ooh. morning. So, you want some or what? Chocolate for Peter. Oh, you got to throw harder than that, oh. Pete. Yeah, pass it, for the pass it down. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> it's mob rule here. Yeah, there you go. If only the cannon worked. <laughs> Being a candied, not a salted. Yeah, I'll let you do it. We can't throw that far. Oh, that's good, the frisbee. Whoa, nice frisbee. toss. Frisbee. Frisbee. Nicole's got the ticket. I hope the place is insured. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, all right, over there. All right. Over there. Oh. Run, run for your chocolate. Find it. Eat it. <laughs> Delicious confectionery goodness. Thanks, Peter. You yeah, happy good. Oh, work. Happy. 
happy, and we're happy not, non-denominational day to you. We're not quite finished with that dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway. Um, anyone else have any, uh, any projectiles for the audience? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> We're going to throw Andrea into the crowd. Maybe later. <laughs> Let's see. We've got, we've got, you know, we do have just a, a great collection of you guys uh, up here. Um, and you know what? We've got a really decent uh, crowd that's joined in. So uh, without any further ado, how about we jump it over and uh, start asking all the questions of our, our great Oops. fans. Let's do here. it, yeah. Hi. Oh, lower that, lower that mic a little. <laughs> We're getting there. All right. <laughs> Royal Countertop Voice. I don't know if Peter's playing Duck Duck Goose over here. Okay. What was your favorite characters to voice act? I won and what won are your bingo yesterday. <laughs> you mean in the show or just? In the um, show, yeah. In the show. In My, in my Little Pony. Yeah. Um, well, I like Coco Pamel. <laughs> trying to do the other voices, but I have a really hard time doing Big Mac. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here he comes now. <sighs> what other voices do you like to do, Big Mac? Bes What's what? your favorite Bes one in the show? My favorite besides you Big like Mac? To do? Or do I like I like to do Big Mac a lot. Uh, but I also... Uh, I, I really enjoyed doing Goldie Delicious a couple of episodes ago. <laughs> was just a hoot and I have to be able to hoot and do that. <laughs> the look on Ashley Ball's face when I opened my mouth for the first time was a, was a, was a surprise. <laughs> Always a surprise. Um, my favorite character on the show, I mean, like, Rainbow Dash and Applejack. Voice act. Act. Yeah, both of them. I can't choose one or the other. Do just both of them. <laughs> do both of them right now. Okay, I guess Rainbow Dash would think that Rainbow Dash is the best character, and Applejack would think that Applejack is the best pony. <laughs> how can you decide? You can. Um, what? How or why did Princess Celestia become a princess? How or why? Good question. <laughs> Writers Let's do start with the why. Do we have a I writer in the room? Any writers? writers? All flown writers? Away. They fled before that question. <laughs> um, the writers have gone, so I could really make up anything I wanted at this point. <laughs> I have a great story, but again, I, yeah, you have to wait till you're 18, and then I can tell it to you. Okay. <laughs> um, I think she's just born a princess. I think she's a queen, really, but... Cool. We'll leave it at that for now. How's that? <laughs> queen. Are there any more kids who want to ask a question? Anybody down there? Do, Zoe or Alicia, do you have a question you want to ask anyone up here? Oh, no? yeah, we have some folks backstage. You sure? You want, you want to know how Peter stays so good looking? <laughs> no? I don't blame you. <laughs> I tried. Hey. Right. They're just happy to be up there, just like, oh, I'm sitting next to Celestia, Wee! And by the way, every pony, Spike just wants to say happy Easter to everybody out there today. Yeah. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Hi, everyone. Hi. Oh, what's, what's your name? Question? Oh, I'm Alec, hi. Hey, who's your favorite pony, and why is it Pinkie Pie? <laughs> Pinkie Pie is best pony if, if, as long as Big Mac is sort of out of the picture, which we just assume that Big Mac is, we don't. So best of the main six, I guess, <laughs> is because party cannon. Because party cannon. Because Pinky sense. I think Andrea answered the question for us all. <laughs> all right, turn. That was what I tried to do. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, your name? Yay. 
Uh, hi, I'm Anna Main, and I have a question for Brian and Nicole. I have a situation where what would ha what would it sound like if Vegeta came to Equestria and called Celestia Sunbutt? <laughs> If it isn't the princess, and if it isn't the prince of all Saiyans, how are you doing, son? But thank you so much. Happy endings all around. Oh, okay, so hello there, your name? Um, hello, uh, my name's Eugene, and I have a question. Uh, what was your favorite song to sing in the show? Oh, oh. oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> I think, I think ultimately apples to the core of the two. <laughs> You've come such a long, long way. Um, I think the, the Grand Galloping Gala song The water bolts. Uh, you guys know the rest, right? <laughs> um, I like doing the bats song. I don't remember it. <laughs> Come on, in harmony, do it. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hello there, in your name. Hello. I have a question about the uh, uh, commentaries on season DVD. So um, my question is, do you guys have any future plans for commentaries other than season one? Commentaries other than season oh, one. Comment I think we scared them too much the first time. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, there's moose coming in the back door. <laughs> Look at all the moose. I don't know if anybody you guys knows are that. So <laughs> There's a couple of directors pay, back there, yep. Pay no attention to the producers I don't in the think corner. any of us really know that answer, but it would be great if that happened, yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. We, we, we love doing the commentary. It was actually really ridiculously fun. We all sat around with Big Jim and we watched the shows and we all talked about it. It was, it was fun. It was good fun. Did, did, was it fun for you? Could you understand what we were saying? We were so excited. I think we were talking over each other. Did you like it? Yeah, I really had fun with it. It's like, it's so amazing. I don't think I was there. Uh, thank you so much. Fantastic, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hello there, what's your name? Hello, hello, I'm Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Hi. Uh, my question is for Peter, Kathy, Ashley, uh, and Nicole, and I guess Brian. <laughs> Everyone? I guess, Brian. I guess. <laughs> well, just Is there anything about working on LPS, Lilith's Pet Shop, that you prefer to, like, as opposed to working on My Little Pony? That Andrea's not there. <laughs> you prefer uh, so nice <laughs> that she's not just there. Just joking. That's the I worst like part. <laughs> <laughs> I like that my character's not perfect. She's, she's crazy and she's fun to play. So. Zoe's, Zoe's the best one. So I like that. And I like looking at Peter. Because <laughs> you make me laugh. It's nice that funny. Peter has more lines in that's that show. I, that's my answer for oh, me. Oh, sorry. He, yeah, you get to talk more. <laughs> he, he doesn't just show up and say, yup. He's got like full monologues and yep. sp spastic a whole banter. With a gecko. <laughs> that's that's I pleasing for me. I scream loudly a at lot. a gecko. It's fun. 
I think he's the scoosh bushiest of all the scoosh bushes. <laughs> Woo! Buttercream Sunday is so different from Spike and some of the others I've done recently, so it's just real fun, fun to do her. Fun. Thank you. Thanks, Jordan. Hello there, sir. Yes, sir. Your name? Okay. Uh, basically, I'm an aspiring voice actor, so this goes out to all the voice actors in here. Uh, I already have heard about, you know, all the great things about voice acting. What I want to know is what's the catch? What is the most depressing or disheartening thing that makes you question whether you want to keep doing this? Or even if it's not like current, what has... I think it's this question. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, what, what's the most challenging thing to overcome so that you can keep doing this? Uh, for me, I think it's just saving my voice and learn, like knowing when to stop and when to shut up because it's it gets a little bit draining talking shut like up. this for you know it's like it hurts. Yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Quiet now. Especially with trying to you know be on the road and stuff. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, it you know just want to stay in at night and not go out and not strain your voice more. So that's that's always a challenge for me. It's just like saving. So, are you saying the hardest thing is your social life? It curbs yeah, your really gets in the way. <laughs> You have to be uh, fine with rejection because yeah. nine out of 10 times or sometimes 99 of 100 times, the answer to you getting work is no. So uh, many people might do one job interview every six months or once a year, once every few years. We do sometimes five, 10, 15, 20 job interviews a week. And most of the time, they say no and pick someone else. Sometimes they say yes and pick you. So you have to be used to no, 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 no. And if you, if you have a thick enough skin for that, um, you can, and, and, some, and talent behind it, you can get pretty far. I also think you have to not take yourself so seriously. Uh, a really good uh, self-deprecating sense of humor has taken me a long way. <laughs> Um, I think I think to remember it is fun. It, everything Brian said, but also I think you just need to be able to have a good time. And uh, I keep doing it. Keep, keep doing it. I am a mother. I have eyes everywhere. And you will get yours to the moon without bananas. So yeah, a lot of fun and, and what you said. What he said. Thanks, that actually is gonna help a lot, thank you. Stick with it though. Good luck. Oh, there we go, water delivery. Thank you. It's Where actually you vodka. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello there, your that name. That was scary for a minute. Where are the olives? So uh, you lot are some of our favorite voice act. Oh, hi, I'm Jake. Yes, okay. Um, <laughs> You, you out are our favorite voice actors on our favorite show voicing our favorite characters. But not all characters are created equal. Some characters have more lines, some characters have fewer lines, some characters get more screen time, some, people, some characters get less. Um, I'm yeah, no stranger, big Jim. I'm no stranger to jealousy, so my question for you all is, what's it like working under the shadow of Peter New? <laughs> That's a serious shadow. Best con ever. <laughs> well, you could probably, um, a spike fit like about 50 shadows in his one. <laughs> yeah, it really wears me know down. That you're you know? my hero. <laughs> you're everything I wish I could be. Yeah, whatever. I could fly higher than a phoenix. You are the gas beneath my butt. <laughs> it's hard. It's this really. This is what hard. happens on the third day of a convention with no sleep. <laughs> Get silly. We we don't have any fun at all. Can you tell? <laughs> Hello. I'm Hi. Hi. I'm hey. Lynn. What's I'm, your name, uh, sir? I'm also known in this fandom as Spike Fireman. Um, I've from I've been. This is my ninth convention I've been to. 
and I've noticed one thing. Everybody said, you know, says that I've been inspired by you guys. So, making me think, who inspired you guys to get into your line of work? Who inspires us? Who inspires us? For me, it's people who are just really good-hearted and real, and um, the the show itself is so much like that that you just take the, you take that away from the show and you take it with you into your world and can relate it to your life and to your friends and families. So it kind of amplifies. So that's what my answer would be. I really I really thought you were going to say Peter New. I know. <laughs> You're like no. for me, it's <laughs> Peter New. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oddly, oddly though, uh, I was going to say that I, do, I take my inspiration from all the people that I work with because I... Oh, I thought you were going to say yourself, no? <laughs> well, I do that. I have that sort of mirror ritual I didn't want to get into. But, uh, I, no, I, I, we get to w- record together. We get to sit in the... We stand around these mics in the same room and I just get to watch all these people working and that, you know, it's just a tremendous influence and, and such an inspiration for me because they're also brilliantly talented. Aw, thanks, P. That's a true thing. Right. Yep. <laughs> I can't do it like you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hello there. All right, so, um, hi, my name is Simon, also known as Radio Wave, and, um, I was a big fan of the Bionicle series when it was still out, put out by Lego. <laughs> And um, I know a few of you did some voice acting for that, including Tabitha St. Germain and you. Brian? Yeah. Brian Drummond? No, no, the other Brian, the, the one over there. What? Peter? Me? I wasn't Brian on, No. I was on the <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Yes, that Brian. Oh. All right. So, and I, was one, and I was watching one of the movies, uh, you know, just for the nostalgia of it, and I... Um, and I noticed that some of like the phrasing of the characters and their voices just in general are similar to a lot of the other characters you do. And I was wondering if you put any like uh, vocal emphasis or uh, any constants between your voices other than your natural voice. So basically you're saying all my voices sound the same. <laughs> That's um, what you're saying. <laughs> well, the, the, the constant in all of this is it, it all comes from the same larynx the same two little flapping pieces of skin. That's all I have to go with down here. Like, I, I, that's, all, that's all I have. So. Yeah, you don't have an extra... Yeah, yeah I don't no. have an extra larynx other than the one I have, but there will be, there will be rhythms and, and sounds and patterns and things that, that'll be similar. And sometimes, believe it or not, I'll be asked to do uh, characters that sound a certain way to something I've done before. I know I've, I've gone on a lot, a lot of the guest work that I do. Sometimes I'll be asked, oh, remember uh, Keo from Yakety Yak? Can you do that sound of that voice for this guy we're doing in this new series, but just make him a little younger? And it's choices that are made sometimes by the, by the directors. And then sometimes I just grab what I can from my own toolbox, which... Or I steal it from Scott McNeil or Peter New, you know, other talented people. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Well said, Brian. I would have kicked him in the face. Hello there, your name? Sweet. All right. Uh, some of you actually answered uh, this for me yesterday, so thank you, but I'd like to ask the others if I may. Uh, imagine for a minute you're not an actor, you're an agent. What makes a VO demo reel absolutely irresistible? You know what, I'd like to introduce you to our agent, oh, no. Caroline Young, who is here. Caroline. And I'm going to embarrass her by making her come up on the stage. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Come on up here. We're gonna... <laughs> come on up here. Yeah, no, no. This is, um, um, this is she's now gonna drop agent, me Caroline. from the roster, but anyway. There was a question about an agent from Gabe. So everyone, this is Caroline. She represents... <laughs> Yeah. So be really, really nice to her. And she likes chocolate and shoes. And she's size nine and a half. And pasta. S- sorry? The question? Oh, there's chocolate on the floor. There's chocolate oh, on the floor, oh, he says. Thank you. I'll come out a little later and see what I can find. So the question, <laughs> uh, the question was, what makes, to an agent, an excellent VO demo reel? Like, what, what would make you want, hear it and say, Okay, I'm signing this guy up. Wow. 
Well, first of all, I don't go only on the demo reel. I like to see a resume. I love a great demo that's well produced with sound effects. Um, if you're going for animation, um, you can get away with around two minutes just over long. There are different people who do it differently and I like both if they're well done. One is to have a lot of different characters that you've sort of improvised and strung together and there's some kind of a through line. Some people will write a script and play all the parts. Um, you want to go with your strengths so the characters that you know that you can book be really creative and show your versatility within all of those characters. Um, I usually bring people in and have them read for me as well. I really like to hear what people can do in the studio because you can spend a lot of time on a demo reel and make it sound really great, but I want to see what you can do in that room with sides in front of you. And I usually send out the sides 24 to 48 hours in advance to give people to prepare. Does that Thank help? you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you, Caroline. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Caroline Young. Hi guys, um, my name is Jimmy. Uh, no, Sorry, yeah, can you speak um, up? This guy cannot ask a question. Um, I just wanted to thank you for all, <laughs> I'm just really nervous, uh, all the work you do. And I just have one quick question. Um, you know what? You're just so cute. Do you want to come and sit up on stage no, with us? No, no, come, so on. Come, come on up here. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Are you up here come with on. us? Come on, little one. Oh, yeah, okay. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. Don't, 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 Aww. um, don't touch him though. It's bad. <laughs> wow. What is your name? My name's, my name's Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. How old, how old are you, Jimmy? I'm 17. Six, six, 17. <laughs> yes. Six, 17. Six, s s 17. What's your favorite color, Jimmy? <sighs> that one's tough. There's so many to choose from. Um, <laughs> Who's your favorite pony, Jimmy? Oh, uh, Apple juice. Yeah, answer it carefully, Jimmy. I, I, this is such an amazing opportunity. I just had a, a quick question. Um, which of the two directors do you think is more handsome? <laughs> um, uh, are they both here? Oh, no. <laughs> well, we... Oh, <laughs> It's okay, don't be shy. Oh, do you want Don't be shy. What's your name, too? What's your name, Okay, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Is that Jason oh. Teeson? We'll need another oh my God. chair. Oh. We're going to have to have don't a walk. Don't be shy, walk. it's okay. Hello. really nervous right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to say, you know, it can be really distracting because both of the directors are so handsome. Sometimes I mean, it's so hard handsome. to even get your lines out. Uh, do you all know who those two people are? You know. Other than goofs? Big Jim Miller and Jason Teeson are directors, just in case you don't. <laughs> The most handsome one, though, is obviously Terry Classen. That is the correct answer. Right, who is our voice vocal director. Who is not sitting next to me. Uh, I might argue also Adam McGee, the... Uh, the engineer. The engineer. That's actually yeah. possibly the <laughs> that's, that's, truth. That's the true answer. <clears throat> Who's your favorite pony, Jason? Oh. <laughs> What's the right answer? The cold steel eyes of Andrea tell me Pinkie Pie. Yeah, you're darn right. She used her pinky sense on you. You guys, you guys know that Jason and I did voices too, right? Yeah. How come we're not on this panel? Well, you are you now. Voice? Well, I voiced Sombra. And Jason, who did who did you do? You you just really love saying that, don't you? Well, <laughs> he's he's cool. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Fire away. Question. All right. Um, I have a question for Peter New. Hello. Uh, considering that about 90% of the population in Equestria are girls, and Fleetfoot clearly is obsessed with Big Mac, how is he still single? <laughs> who, who says he is? It's Luna, isn't it? No comment. Hello? Hi. Hello. Hi. First off, I would like to say it's really a great honor. It's actually my first time to actually, you know, see all of you in up here. <laughs> kind of nervous. Um, but I wanted to ask, um, who is your, um, you know, if, who's your favorite hero or villain characters from any of the shows that you really look up to and you secretly, secretly want to voice as them? Oh, Cruella de Vil. <laughs> or Maleficent. I mean, just keep going down those nasty green, lovely, lovely, lovely queens. Very, a little angry sometimes, right? A little angry, yeah, but they're okay. They're misunderstood. That's what Zoe said, they're misunderstood. Are these characters on the show, or just any, 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 any villain? Uh, any hero or characters from any of the shows that you secretly look up to oh. and you secretly want to like, you know, like voice as them? Ooh. Like, uh, the ones that you watched? I always loved Baloo the Bear from Jungle Book. If I could do that, come on, that's the fast voice. Um, Batman. <laughs> I would watch that show. <laughs> yeah, I'm Batman. What up? And just imagine that with a Mike Mignola drawing. One of my favorite villains has to be the Wicked Witch of the West. And your little dog, too. They're not hero. They're not heroes or villains. But um, I was a giant Ren and Stimpy fan growing up. So. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy, happy, happy, joy, joy. I knew we got along for a reason. I love that show. I don't know. I I have I I don't. I have I don't really think about it like that. I guess I don't really think about who who do I wish I could have done. So I always feel like somebody else has do, done it, and. Um, I just, I would like to do whatever hasn't been written yet. Whatever's new. Peter oh. New. Peter oh. New. Peter New, ladies and gentlemen. The best thing about that is I, I didn't actually mean that joke. And then, then there it was. Can, can Jason I answer this too? Can Jason I answer this too? Uh, if they were to remake the movie Sling Blade, <laughs> I would love to play Billy Bob Thornton's character, Carl. <laughs> Some folks call the Kaiser Blade, I call it Sling Blade. That'd be fun. <laughs> you want to answer that question? Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I was just answering some emails. <laughs> Is there a character, Thanks. hero, villain that you would love to play from any other show, from any show, anytime, any, ever? I'm sorry, could you uh, do that again? I couldn't hear you, you were mumbling. He can hear me, he's next to me, and I'm just I know, but I want, to hear, I want to hear your comedic genius, too. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, next question. I, I was going to say Big Mac. <laughs> Boy, it seems okay. easy. <laughs> <laughs> You're up. Fire away with a question. All right, so this question is for Andrea Lipman, and because uh, I've been kind of a fan of you since I was a child, but when I used to watch the show called Dragon Tales, where you were the voice of Emmy, I just wanted to know, uh, what, how did you develop the voice of Emmy, and what inspired you to do the voice, and if possible, could you maybe do Emmy's voice in front of the whole audience? 
I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons in a land apart. Yeah! <laughs> and I started doing the voice of Emmy when I was like 12 or 13. And it's just my natural voice pretty much. Just kind of, they said, be yourself. So I did with dragons. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for your question. Thanks. Can you do something from that episode of the X Files that you did? <laughs> I didn't that. really talk much in X Files. I just kind of like did this. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I was a murderer. Okay, uh, hello to everybody, including a very dapper apple cider. I mean, come on, get out here. Show everybody your studliness. Hi. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Good job on Brodyville. Everybody should listen. All right, now, um, at a certain Anaheim-based convention, uh, some of these voices delivered um, a little story that took place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And um, it seemed to go over pretty well. So what I'm wondering is, if you ever did anything like that again, what movie would you like to uh, reenact as our favorite ponies? What movie would you like us to do? Every pony? My dinner with Andre. <laughs> Avengers? Avengers? Here, Princess Bride, Princess Bride. Avengers. <laughs> Jaws? What are you people? What? <laughs> Who said Exorcist? The shiny the says shiny? This child in the front row. The front row <laughs> says the child. One of the children. Where How are old your are you? Parents? Where are your parents? Eleven. The eleven-year-old says the shining. Uh. Oh. Uh. They're the children of the corn. <laughs> Here's Jack. <laughs> so this is a question to all the voice actors on panel right now. <clears throat> um. How does it feel knowing that you can command this many people with just one word? I didn't know I could do that. I don't know I if know we knew that. that. Really? You, I don't really should we think test of, it out? Which word are you talking about? I don't think it's no, like no, my just, single word is a command just in, exactly. Just in general, knowing that you have that much influence that you could ask anything and they will deliver. Really? Anything. Like everybody put their hands up. Oh! Whoa. It's true. You see? <laughs> Could someone see? talk to my kids for me? That would be great. You see? <laughs> and don't forget that Jim and I can make these guys do stuff. It's true. One word. Hey One guys, word. can you tell them to Give us a hundred dollars each on the way out. <laughs> what, what voice do you want me to use for that? Just any, any voice. It's happening, it's happening like this, okay? That's good. A little deeper? It's happening like this, okay? Great. That's faster. Something like this, okay? More clarity. It's something like this, okay, for you? Yes. Give those guys a hundred bucks. <laughs> That's just getting like, that's just getting like totally weird. You don't have to actually do that. Men in black? One word, chocolate. <laughs> I think it feels good for all of us. Yeah, it feels, it's, it's overwhelming. It's lovely, it's overwhelming. <laughs> oh, see? <laughs> Thank you. Joke. Run fast, run, I'll get run it faster, later. run to the back, run, 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 run now, run. Oh my god, it's true! <laughs> okay, stop running, stop, stop! Oh, hey, okay, sorry about that. Okay, stop. My question's for Big Mac, or um, Pierre New. 
either since, way. Since we never got to actually hear Big Mac's turkey call and he went six consecutive times, I was wondering if we could hear Big Mac's turkey call. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> no. What would it? What would it? We were doing a turkey call contest, right? Yeah. And and uh, and he, we never actually did it, right? No. You, you you did some turkey calling. You did some turkey calling, but we had to. The, we cut it for time. We had to cut it for time. Has so we, what, what? What did I do? Did I, you okay. sounded like a turkey. Okay. So I was just, <laughs> with as much gusto as you like got mustard. Like a like a deep. Right. I forget what the, the was thing like, was. Oh, it was okay, like really so crazy like, and up there. <laughs> that was it. That was it. And and that's why Pinkie Pie won. Yeah. And that's also why we cut it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I said no in the first place. <laughs> Hi. I have a question for Andrea Lipman. Could you voice uh, Pumpkin Cake if she was older, like around Apple Bloom's age? Like you, right now? <laughs> <laughs> or in theory? In theory, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That would be like we'd have to see what she ended up looking like. I guess. I guess if she was really young, she might sound something like this. I don't know. What do you want from me? <laughs> Thank you. Um, hi, I've enjoyed all your work so far and all the songs, but I have to give it to Miss Oliver for Celestia's Ballad, and it made me think, could Miss Oliver, could Celestia sing You Are My Only Sunshine? <laughs> you want me to sing You Are My Sunshine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, Kevin, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Okay, right there is why she's the best princess. Rainbow Dash, why are you so awesome? I was just born that way. <laughs> Thanks. Um, hi, uh, my question's for Brian. Uh, why did you give Sea Breeze a Swedish accent? Wow, why did Seabreeze have a Swedish accent? Well, it wasn't really sort of Norwegian, Nordish. Yeah, it was supposed to be vaguely Nordic. We just thought it would be funny. Because yeah. <laughs> we knew that they were, as the script was written, they had a weird language. Uh, Natasha Levenger wrote some stuff in there, and we thought, well, if they just talk normal English, they should sound different. And then we said, Brian, do a funny thing. And he's like, blah, 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 blah. and we're like, okay. <laughs> Send us something funny. And I looked up some strange sounds and we ad libbed a lot of it. There was some stuff that was written, which was really fun at general. And then we were given some general ideas as to what they were actually saying. And then we got to ad lib. And I think, didn't Kathy, you played one too? And uh, I, th you, I think you, everyone did incidental. Yeah, everybody, did there were even incidental yeah. breezies too, and we all had to make up some stuff. It was actually very bizarre oh. and quite, quite fun a little bit to do. We should do a breezy walla right now. Yeah, do you want to? Yes, we just breezy walla. Now, uh, this won't be the pitched version because obviously uh, our voices were pitched. As you Ready? One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> breezy walla and one turkey. <laughs> A turkey breezy. 
we actually we actually had to record that you you saying it much slower, like really slow, because we sped it up like a lot. So it took a while to get through all the lines. So it wasn't melanky. It was like melanky, and then it sounded really creepy and weird. <laughs> We had nightmares for night. <laughs> Weeks. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Hello. 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 My name is Mike from Bakersfield. Uh, I have two quick questions. Uh, first, where did the whole moose thing come from? Tabitha St. Germain. Tabitha At Everfree yeah. Northwest in Seattle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because they were asking us questions that we weren't able, really shouldn't be uh, talking about, yes. and so suddenly a moose suddenly, suddenly a came moose. in the room. Just Look like a moose. Thank Whoa. you, Jennifer, you go. for the for that <laughs> good, good, good dramatization. To change the subject, basically. Uh, I see. But it's yeah. very Canadiana, a I moose. So. And then it, oh, yeah. there were memes drawn, and there were things before we were even finished, and it was all I over the internet. I think there's t-shirts now. There's t-shirts, yeah. and it's stuck. So if anyone asks you a question that you can't answer, you don't want to answer, you can use it too. Just go, look, look, a moose. Yeah. Again, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah. I've just been told we got about 30 more minutes if a few more people want to come up and ask a question. And then I have one more question if that's okay. You're welcome. Uh, All right. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have one more question if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, my friend Mark isn't able to be here for special circumstances, and his favorite pony is Applejack, and I was wondering if Ashley could say a few words of encouragement. What would you like me to say? Uh, just a few words of encouragement to my friend Mark, if that's okay. Encouragement. Encouragement. Well, hi there, Sugar Cube. I sure wish you could be here with us at uh, this year's fine convention, and uh, I wish you all the best. You take care of yourself, all right? Bye now. Thank you. Hello there. Hi. Hi. My name is Manuel, and I have a request I want to ask from all of you. My brother's birthday is coming up in a few days. He'll Stand be up. Where are you, brother? Where are you? Hi. Hi. What's your name? Jonathan, OK. His birthday is on April 25th, and he'll be turning 17. And I was wondering, with your permission, could you uh, wish my brother a happy birthday with your character voices, please? Why don't we sing to him in our character voices? Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Jonathan. 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 Okay. Jonathan. Um, One. What, Jonathan? Yeah, Seven. Jonathan. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jonathan. Thank you very much. Hi, my name's Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Hey, I'm a big fan. Have been for a few years now, and I want to get a picture of you guys. <laughs> hey, uh, can we give every, Sonia a big round of applause for putting on an awesome show? Come on, everybody. Come on, chair, Sonia. <laughs> on your oh, feet. No, no. I just wanted to ask a question like a fan, because um, I started this because I am a fan, and actually that last question segues nicely into what I wanted to ask, but I had a first a very quick request, because there are two folks up on that table that don't, I don't think, get enough requests to hear their, their, their voices for which they're famous, uh, and they're way over on the end there. Um, and I, I, yeah, you two, you two. Jim and Jason. 
Could you give us just a, a little sample of the characters that we love? You want to go first? Yeah! <laughs> Crystals. That's hot. Okay, and, and now I have my, my legitimate actual real question, because after having, you, uh, after, after having heard you sing such beautiful harmony on, on Happy Birthday, of all things, um, I just want to know why, you know, we don't get to hear some of the more amazingly talented voices on the show more often. I mean, we finally got to hear Peter sing some barbershop quartet. We, at the end of season three, we finally get to hear Celestia sing in a song that moves me to tears every time I hear it. And I just want to know why, why, you know, more you guys don't get to sing more and to cut loose more with your, with your voice, because it all, it, it just, I love it. Um. And can there be more? I think there's going to be more singing in future seasons, because there's been such a positive response to all of it, so. Um. Yeah. Let's just get it. through season four first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you're not gonna wait. You're not gonna make us wait another three seasons just to hear Nicole sing, right? Please, maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, how much? How much would it mean to you guys? Like. <laughs> we'll call Megan. Yeah. Well, we'll get on a call. See what we can do. You know what? I was thinking of maybe starting a rock band. We think. I think you should wear spikes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much, and thanks for being thank here. You, thank you. Thank you, Sonia. And how you do then? So, uh, first off, I want to thank you all for giving away chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. So, uh, my question, probably the most philosophically mind-blowing question that you've ever been asked. How was your day today? How was your day today? Oh. Lovely, oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> my day was awesome. I had a great day. I've had a great weekend. It's so great to be here, Every Pony, and happy Easter. And I hope we get a chance to come back and see all of you in San Francisco. And hopefully we'll get to more of you in our travels. Because you guys have all been fantastic. So thank fantastic. you. Couldn't be better. Well, um, uh, Zoe and Alicia, how's your day been? Um, good. How's your day been? Good. My day's been good, too. Good. Good. How's your day been? How's your weekend been? Do you guys want more candy? We have something for you, and we're going to make it equal this time. Ready? It's been really fun. Please put on your safety goggles. Well, I want to thank you for answering the question. I know you are very busy, but thank you. Thanks. I leave for like 30 minutes. What do you guys okay, do? Who's up next on the... Qu oh. We're done? Oh. Well. Well, there you go. No more questions. Well, um... Oh, wait. It looks like there's another one. I guess... We're going to go have lunch then. That's it, folks. That's it. So, thank you. We love you. Thank you! Woo!